I was con consciously wanting to do Shakespeare on stage, and then um, Josie suggested Coriolanus, and I didn't know it that well. I'd seen Ray Fiennes' film, which I thought was terrific. But when I read it, I was r immediately captivated by the drama of what happens when a soldier is pretty much against his will um, drawn into the political arena because the conviction and the courage that you need to, to, to excel on the battlefield is very different from the skill set you need to make laws and to bend and dissemble and keep a sort of political equilibrium. And he's, uh, he's like a firework in the Senate uh, in a dangerous way because he has very belligerent, stringent views about how things should be done. And he unsettles the balance of power in Rome and becomes an exile and a, a kind of uh, totalitarian fascist. Wherein the graver had a strife with nature to outdo the life. Oh, could he but have drawn his wit as well in brass as he hath hit his face. The print would then surpass all that was ever writ in brass. But since he cannot, reader, look, not on his picture, but his book. Well, comparing it to, the, to Hollywood, I mean, when you make uh, Hollywood films, they give, you, um, they give you the rewrites on the day that you shoot. And um, they are unfortunately not of the same quality as, uh, as the ancient first folio that we've just seen. Um, and uh, I find it personally very thrilling in quite a sort of nerdy way um, to sit and hold these pages, which were printed 400 years ago. And uh, because when, when, as an actor, when you approach Shakespeare, you're always aware of trying to make language that is 400 years old, contemporary, accessible, relatable, and new minted, because it's possible that the wisdom in it is, is and, the, and you know, human nature hasn't changed. And you're trying to open that up for audiences, saying, look, we're still the same. We still fall in love. We still fall out of love. We still fight with our fathers. We still create obstacles. We still suffer from what are construed as the seven deadly sins. You know, Shakespeare knew that. And you're trying to open that up and present it so that the language doesn't seem archaic or um, remote. And um, essentially open up the echo of 400 years of human nature. And uh, so as an actor, you're always aware of that. And then to actually hold the pages that are in fact 400 years old is a very unique thing. Um, and one I find really exciting.